the, mm -hmm. the inflection going on. Now again, everybody could tell you what you were doing wrong. My problem is, how do I fix it? Well, who's doing anything to fix it? You know what I mean? What am I going to go to you? You're in shape, you're skinny, you're this, that, and the other. How much more muscular can I make you? You already have issues with your muscles, so why would I add more muscles to it? That's where a lot of athletes go wrong because they think, oh, I'm getting old, I need to bulk up. Mm -hmm. You know, when they're already got issues, so how are we with, with you know, got it. this is the only thing with class, I have to adjust myself more so, so I'm not in the picture. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm, this is my, my test drive myself exam. All I'm doing is really going to the knee. But notice I'm not touching the knee again. It's my rotation. I'm going in just to see the rotation. Mm -hmm. So I can already feel where the shin is, is guarding that. And if I go the other way, it's a little bit better. So in other words, you know, getting into the car probably on the passenger side is more of an issue with you than getting out of, you know, type thing. Because getting out, I have the rotation on the passenger side. Mm -hmm. Now, on the driver's side, let's say for an example, forget it. Get, you getting out of the car, you have to bring your, your leg around mm -hmm. versus just stepping out of the car. Because just with that minor touch, see how your, your, your femur does not present right, whatsoever. So you, you can feel mm -hmm. that. That's why when I touch a kid, I already know what their possibilities are and their limitations because, you know what I mean, I just know understand movement so well. I still have a lot to learn, but I mean, I really just get that. Now, if you golfed, do you see how that upward swing would get you? Because, again, that femur is not rotating. Mm -hmm. Not, ro you know. So, and again, then I'm doing now this way. And now I'm really pulling your hips. That's just that. Do you feel how I pull through the hips? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not hurting you, oh, no. but if I'm only doing this and your hips are pulling, I can imagine, like I said, getting out of the car or going to this kind of thing when you present your leg to move that foot around. Mm -hmm. And that's where I am after the foot, but I just want you to see how the system is connected. That being said, I'm going to start with this foot. Going back to the first move of just rolling now. Not only does the foot roll, notice the extension I'm starting to get. See how I can pull on the foot. Because again, see how just that little bit of transferring the weight that your body's going. Oh crap, that was pretty. Now the, now the ankle's giving way. And notice I'm not correcting. This is a big thing where parents want to go, oh, ankle out, let me come back here and put the ankle straight. Why can't your ankle go out? You're just sitting there. If you look at any typical three-year-old, they play with their bodies. I want you to know what home is by going away from home. So now, see, I can just rotate the foot. And he wants to rotate. Well, it's available. Mm -hmm. I can do a figure eight. This is infinity. Uh, now I can do infinity everywhere. I'm doing it very quick, but see how I roll the right and I pose the left. So it's just like if I was doing a figure eight. But look what that does to the hip and to the mm -hmm. pelvis and your chest cavity. It's not a massage. See how I'm lifting the outer edge of the foot? And see now you can almost see my figure eight go all the way through. I rotate the right, the opposing left. But my intentions are all on the strike of the heel. So now I'm going to do the other toe. So notice the, the mathematics. When I work on the big toe, do you feel how the movement is through this side of the foot? Just this foot, you feel how the movement now is to the, to the outside of the foot. Yeah. So I'll do it again just so you can feel it. So feel, and just going over at one toe, feel the difference? Mm -hmm. It wants to go through. And that's how the toes counter. Four toes here counter the big toe here. 
one of my clients lost his digit and the doctor said, good thing it wasn't the big toe. He goes, I couldn't even begin to tell you what it would have done to your balance. You know. Again, we're meant this way for a reason. Don't mess with it. No offense, you have to have your appendix taken out. But knowing what I do, this is where I will brag. You're thinking of that kind of surgery, especially to your feet, you come to me first. And then if you're still not sure, come back for another lesson. I mean, I, I just... I have one client, they fused right here because the doctor said that area of the foot doesn't move too much. Like, no, not at all. It's only your whole shifting of your whole... But once the, it was the fusion's done, I can't unfuse. I can't be egotistical and say, don't come back to me. She had the surgery, she still needs help. So I just have my thumb into those points on the side of the heel. That's it. It's feel now the extension going into the foot. But see the shin toe they gave. Do, do have I proved my point now too? All the muscle building in the world would not have fixed the momentum that was going on in the foot, or the leg, or the pelt. Yeah. There. See now the yep. pelvis is. So now I'm starting to. That's the. Yeah, that's walking. Yep. But it took all that to get walking from the feet. But now look at how I can twist your foot. And your foot can ripple. See how the heel goes mm -hmm. back. Now this is where you're seventy some percent more. Why shouldn't I have a nice fluid foot? See how you come back on the heel into. Getting that awareness too. I mean, it's just you know. See now you're going the extension with the foot. Well, first of all, I didn't have a purpose. I didn't have a goal. I knew I'd make it better. I mean, that's obvious because I do really good feet. But and that I will brag about feet and hands. If I did this mm -hmm. to your hands, boy, you'd be like you know, be to me. So see how the extension of the toes coming out. See now much more now that the ankles are freer and also can rotate independently. Mm -hmm. Most people do this. Left, left, right, right. Yeah. It's, see the difference? That's my figure eight. Mm -hmm. See how the infinity is going around and around. But I'm not done yet. So you're always going my ultimate goal is to look for that infinity because if I have infinity, that means right now if I were to teach you karate, you're much more available to do it in every direction. If I can't get infinity, my, 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 next, my first goal is to have a reaction. My next goal is to have, let's say, tonus change, extension, you know, there's one thing to grab a ball but to actually reach where your, your toes can reach. See now the extension in the toes? I can come in here and pull your toes. You know, you have a nice tonus change. The heel is just nice. So I, I look for that. Then I look for the circle and then the infinity. If I had a goal. But see how it's a taffy pull off the heels. Mm -hmm. Do you see how I could not have done this yeah. an hour ago because I would have been expecting you to do way too much. And that's where people don't understand movement, is sometimes we just mm -hmm. expect too much out of people. And I'm not saying that you weren't capable of doing it. Now the more I do this, see the tush goes, mm -hmm. rope flows with it. It's just not, now it's easy. Yeah. But you feel how your whole body's almost becoming very liquidy, mm -hmm. like you can just oh, yeah. feel that slosh. Mm -hmm. Now this kind of stuff, obviously I'm bearing weight on you. Ah, oh, there we go. See the infinity? Mm -hmm. How complex it is now. Big toe comes out. See, see how I'm doing the infinity? In the toes. So big toe comes out, rotates around. So you basically, like now you actually, you can do, do the infinity easily. Oh yeah. 
but right now I'm doing it literally through the point of the foot, whereas before I was doing it, you know, yeah. into the foot. So. But right now, if you were a very high-end performer, I would want these feet versus, you know what I mean? What I want these feet anytime now. Yeah. But see the availability to jump and play tennis or to golf or to football, basketball. I can bring your feet out here. It's a different strike. However, if you're a tree climber or something like that, we, rock climber, we still use these movements. It's just the less and less we move, move we don't see the possibilities of it. So again, move the knees out. I could be gentle. Yeah. But I mean, now you're human. Yeah. You know? Look at how fast that head is now. Mm -hmm. This is where I talk about with the kids, when your internal acceleration is slower than what you're expecting with fine motor skills, the sequence is totally off. So if I can now do this with you, look at your arms mm -hmm. even just go jiggle jiggle. So now for you to suddenly have quick fine motor skills with these legs versus what you had before, unbelievable difference. That availability, that car, you know, because that tone has changed now. It's going throughout your whole system because I've just changed your whole vestibular, your counterbalance, because I went right to the feet. Mm -hmm. In many ways, these are in your system, these are more your brains than your brain is, yes. you know, in, in that aspect. And with that, walk around and feel what that's like.